What up my geeks? Jeffrey Powers here from Geekazine and today we're going to take a look at this little puppy right here on the floor. It's how I'm switching through my scenes on Wirecast and of course uh, other programs. This is the X-Tempo Designs POK Bluetooth Wireless Foot Control BLE Bluetooth Low Energy is what it stands for wireless foot control and we're gonna check that out right now so you now you're seeing this jeffrey powers from geekazine now you're seeing let's go to, let's go to me so here we go hey everybody jeffrey powers from geekazine think magazine put in a geek you can find me on facebook twitter instagram geekazine youtube.com forward slash geekazine go ahead like subscribe comment hit the bell notifications for the next video and then we're on twitch twitch.com forward slash geekazine where you can uh go get rocks your rocks it's a little program where you get points as you watch the awesome videos so today we're taking a look at this program from uh, x tempo it's called the pok ble hands-free dog control it's a foot pedal for your computer and it gives you eight buttons to do whatever you want you can set it up however you want as you can see i have it set up for my uh for my wirecast you can use it for live stream whatever you whatever sets a hotkey if you want to do a simple control c control v copy paste in just your computer all together yeah you can set those hotkeys up in this foot pedal to do that so, and of course, if you have any disabilities with your hands, this is great to have to, uh, to control, move yourself around using your feet. And for musicians, it's perfect because if you're creating loops, if you're adding samples, if lots of different things, you can put this on the floor and you can start loops, you can stop loops, you can repeat loops, however you have it set up in your DAW. Uh, straightforward just by setting up hotkeys so let's show you how it uh, works first of all i'm just going to show you my buttons here really quick first of all every single click single tap is just the main screen so this is my main uh, front view and then the second button goes to the screen the what's what, is, what you see on the computer and then the third one of course goes to my ptz camera which then switches over to the uh to see the foot pedal if i double tap on this I can, I have a split screen, which is what I have set up. And then you can do a function and then a tap, which uh, will give you a third option off of each pedal. So you have a lot of different things that you can do with this foot pedal. Now, let's go into the program. Let's, let's check it out. This is the POC manager. Now, first of all, you connect up to Bluetooth. How do you connect up to Bluetooth? Let's go back over here and show you. First of all, there's a couple batteries in the back that you put in and they say that the batteries will last for a long time so you don't have to worry about changing batteries to pair them and i'm not going to do it because it'll unpair on the computer you hold down the first button the third button and the fourth button this is one two three four so one two three four so you hold down the first one the third one and the fourth one there's a red light up on top it will flash that will clear out its bluetooth memory and then allow you to pair to whatever device you want. PC or Mac, if you've got multiple PCs, then you can pair it to the other PC. You might have to, uh, you might have to unpair it or forget the device in Bluetooth to repair it sometimes. But if you have one computer, one pair, you don't have to worry about it pretty much ever again. But let's take a look at this software here. Pretty straightforward, looks just like the pedal. We've got, I've got this set up. Uh, at the most two different things but if you go and you double click on one of these you have the three options once again the single press the double press and then the function press and you can definitely disable the function and when that happens then the function press it's still there but it it, it doesn't it doesn't work so so basically you type in what you want for the single press you go for the keystroke you hit the start capture like for instance let's say i want i don't know uh uh Control J to do something and we'll say press will say test and then we'll go over to the keystroke we'll you can either type in control uh, J but you can do start capture and just go control J boom it puts it in there hit the stop capture and now it's ready to go from there so you hit the save and close we'll hit the cancel here and then it'll be in there what I have I have my main shot here I have the screen and the screen split as you saw 
That's that double click. And then of course we have the PTZ and the PTZ split. Of course, the two things are. You got the double press speed option. So if you want a slower double click or a faster double click, you can set that up that way. And then the more important thing is you have to write to the Bluetooth device. Now, the thing about this software is you don't need to have it on the computer that you're using your DAW for. Because some, some people like to have their a, a dedicated machine for their video recording, for their audio recording, and they don't want to have extra programs on it. This program can be put onto another computer. You set up your DAW. You can, you can even uninstall it if you wanted to. When you're done configuring, you hit the right button. That'll write it to the Bluetooth device. If you want to pull from the Bluetooth device, let's say you had to reinstall the POC software and you don't have anything here, you hit the read button and it'll bring it back from the foot pedal device. Save the profile, load the profile so you can create different profiles. If we hit load profile, as you can see, there's several different .poc files, including Ableton Live, Cubase One, and then one I created for Wirecast and uh, one I created for Audition. Uh, Pro Tools and Sonar are, are more of those. So there's the user guide, of course, you can also get through the uh, soft or software here. And once again, like I said, you can disable or enable the function mode. That's the software, fairly straightforward. And now when you're ready, you just hit it and go from there. And now you can put this into your programs, whether it be Audition, whether it be Wirecast, whether it be Photoshop, whether it be I don't, whatever, whatever the program is. So I have it now set up in my SoundForge. I have play, arm, record on button one, my home button on two, uh, loop playback option on three and marker region. That's what we'll, we'll focus on for here. So I need to arm my track. So I'll double tap this. And now it's ready to go. Now I'm going to hit play. And of course, I'll be able to record from here. Ooh, ooh. There we go. Now I need to unarm the track, so I'll double click it. There we go. And then I'll play it. Ooh, ooh. Now, uh, let's say I want to set a marker here, so I'll go right here and this is where I'm going to, whoops, this is where I'm going to set my marker. So I'm going to single tap on the marker over here on number four. That's going to add a marker. I want to add a, a loop region. I'll just do that and then I'll double tap that. And there's my loop. Now I'll go home and hit the play with the loop activation. You get the idea. So that's how I can actually use this foot pedal to uh, control SoundForge. I'm in Premiere Pro now, and I'm going to be using the POC to do some editing on the video that I just recorded for this. So basically we have the play button on the, on the first one, maximize, I'll show you that in a second. Uh, before and after, this is uh, kind of cutting the, the split. So I have a split here. And uh, and I'll, I'll show you here really quick. So let's bring this over here. We'll we'll go in here. So play pretty straightforward. Get into the uh, area. Play. Uh, go over to YouTube and doc. There we go. Um, I want to split this into two. Let's split it right there. So we'll hit split once, and that split the the video at that point. Right there. Let's say I don't want that part, so I'm going to hit this the before. And that gets rid of that part. We'll just get rid of it. We'll bring it back because we want to keep that. And then, of course, like if I have any dead space, I'll double tap that. And that end part is gone. Um, I can also, I also have it set to expand. So if I'm editing this, uh, this area and I want to go full screen on it, I can do that just like that with that button and then bring it back down. Whatever you want to set up for your Premiere Pro, you can do it uh, through all of these buttons. Let's let's take a look at some of the pros and cons. The first con is Windows and Mac based. You can connect up to iOS and you can connect up to Android through the Bluetooth, but it, there were no plans for uh, controlling iOS as a pedal board or, or anything like that, which is kind of disappointing. 
because I would love to have seen it hook up to my IK Multimedia Amplitude and uh, and be able to control the, the foot switches from there. But it's not meant for that. It's meant for a Mac or PC at this time. That could change down the road. You never know. Second thing is the Bluetooth connects up one machine at a time. You have to disconnect from one machine to connect to the other. And that three button combination you might have to use a few times and you had then you might have to go into your Bluetooth and forget the device, repair it. So it might take a couple minutes to get it back online if you're moving from one device to another. But once again, if you've got only one computer, that's not going to be a big deal. You just have the foot pedal there. The pedal itself, pretty uh, pretty sturdy in construction. I got it on my box because, of course, I have a, a raised seat here. There's no lights on this. It's, if you want to mark the pedals, you'll have to get a label maker. Not a big deal. Uh, once again, the batteries, I, I really wish, I, I do really wish that they would make a USB version as well because I like to have things hard cabled over wireless because if you're in the heat of things doing stuff, especially if you're playing, you don't want something to die out on you. Especially Bluetooth, you know, with Bluetooth latency, hitting it on the mark sometimes can be a pain. But nonetheless, you know, here nor there, it, it works for me because, you know, I in just the last week I was sitting there playing and trying to hit my loop button and get back to the guitar in time. And I said, I just need a foot pedal solution. And the next tempo, he said, hey, you know, we've got this solution. Why don't you check this out? So I did. The only other thing is the price, and that's $259. At this point of the recording, of course, $259 for this device right here. It's not too bad. The thing that it doesn't come with is the Bluetooth dongle. If you've got a laptop, chances are you got Bluetooth in the laptop. But if you got a desktop, you probably don't have that. You have to pay another $19 for the Bluetooth. Uh, and so it's it's an extra charge. And of course, they do have a carry case for about $30 uh, for the Bluetooth device, uh, the, the POC, if you use it on the road, which a lot of people do. So those are the pros and cons of the POC Bluetooth uh, uh, foot pedal here. Overall, it's a pretty decent piece of hardware that you can use for whatever you need your hands to be free for. Whether it's creating music, whether it's creating video, whether it's creating photos, whether it's creating anything. You can even use it to switch back and forth between the tabs on your browser. Really, it's, it's, it's up to your imagination. What would you use it for? I'd love to know. Let me know by tweeting me over at Geekazine, Think Magazine, put in a geek. Or you can uh, go over to YouTube and dot com forward slash geekazine. Go ahead to comment down below. Don't forget to like the video and hit the notification after you subscribe to let you know when the next video comes through. So that is it. That is the X Tempo Design POC Bluetooth wireless foot control. It's hard to say. I said uh, I said it about a hundred times already, and I still have a hard time saying X Tempo Designs POC Bluetooth control foot pedal for a DAW uh, and <laughs> check it out. Thanks a lot for watching. And until next time, you guys geek out. If you got something you want me to review, let me know and geek out and we'll see you next time. Take care.